Hey everybody, it's Steve from Engadget inside a program called Connect Evolution. If you follow gaming, you probably know that you can now buy an Xbox One without the Connect 2 for $100 or so less. But for an extra 50 bucks, on top of the extra 100 for the Connect 2, you can use your Xbox One Connect 2 on a PC via a special adapter. On the other hand, if you want to buy a standalone Connect for the PC, it costs around $200, making it a relative bargain on the Xbox. So that begs the question. What exactly can you do with an Xbox One Kinect 2 on a PC? The Kinect sensor is a big upgrade over the original. It has full HD instead of VGA resolution and is three times more sensitive, detecting a finer range of details. It also has a wider field of view and custom processors for body tracking, so it can map your bones and small gestures with high accuracy. There's also infrared vision that works in the dark and can even pick up your heart rate. The sensor is also designed to track your facial gestures and record your voice. Despite its potential, the Kinect 2 sensor hasn't been embraced by gamers or game developers. One community has strongly embraced it though, 3D animators and modeling pros. In my tests, the Kinect 2 excels at body and facial motion capture. It'll never be as good as an expensive multi-camera mocap studio, but it does give animators a spiffy tool that can be used at home. I tested it using Breckel's Beta Pro Body 2, though Ipisoft and others have similar software. Since the Kinect is so good at bone tracking, it can generate realistic mocap files for programs like Autodesk's Motion Builder and 3ds Max. I was also very impressed by Breckel's ProFace 2 software, which did an uncanny job of capturing emotions and lip movements. As for using the Kinect to model characters, that's still a work in progress. I tried Body Snap, which is supposed to let you build a character that resembles you or somebody else. You can then uh, import the model into a program like Mixamo to fine-tune the model and add hair, clothing, and other accessories. However, after several attempts, the models I created bore little resemblance to myself compared to other tools I've used like FaceGen Pro, which does modeling based on photos. It also has potential for generating 3D models from scanned objects which could be used for 3D printing or special effects. Microsoft has an app called 3D Builder, which I used with pretty miffy results, I would say. With a bit of practice, however, I think I could create usable scans, but the software feels like it's not quite there yet. So what to make of all this? We were blown away when we first saw the Kinect and couldn't wait to see the interactive games and apps that would come of it. Disappointingly, it's only found a home in very niche communities like 3D animation so far. Everybody agrees that it's all very cool, but like Google's Tango, nobody has the slightest idea how to transfer that appeal into a commercial product. UI generally all very attractive. Downside is it's a little confusing sometimes. You're going to do all of your navigation really using either the touch interface, the digital crown, or a community.